Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, we're already mid-February, and this is amazing. For those of you who are anywhere in the United States, you are seeing all kinds of different weathers, and it's so lovely. It's like winter and yet not winter, and here in Southern California, we are experiencing a lovely weather, what I call it. It's true winter. It's been such a long time that us Californians have not seen snow or rain. Oh my God, the other day I was traveling down the highway. Uh, we don't have a highway, but down the canyon where I live, and the mountaintops, it's so green, it's so plush, it's so beautiful. And I turned around and I told uh, my friend who was sitting next to me, and I said, feels like we're in Seattle. But the difference is that we still get the sun coming out. Today we had the sun, and at night it hits about 50s. So this is California. Uh, hi, Liz. Hi, Ruzan. Hi, Ray. It's so good to be here with you all. Well, today is um, a few days. We are two days, three days away. Yeah, two days away from Valentine's. And what a great uh, topic do we have for you today. I have, actually, I don't have a guest. Haha, <laughs> guess what? I am your guest. I am the only person. I had someone scheduled to come in, and we were going to talk about love and communication, but he was not able to attend. So I will make sure that in about a week or two, I will have my guest here, and it's going to be a surprise, a lovely surprise. With that, uh, let us continue. Let us continue the language of love, um, but at the same time, where are you? Are you in California? How do you like your weather? Do you enjoy this winter? Isn't this lovely? Being in the sun, in the rain, I know. For some people, uh, the rain has not been good because there's been floodings and everything. But this is nature. Nature is communicating with us. Even Nature is showing its love to us, and that's what I call it. Today's communication, today's language of love can also be about nature and how we respond lovingly to nature. So instead of being upset or angry or uh, for those of you who do not like the cold, uh, such as me, but I love adjusting because I put layers and layers and I get to wear all my heavy jackets. I love jackets. I love coats. So, and that's what love is saying thank you to the universe, saying thank you to nature for showing all its seasons to us. Where I grew up, where I was born at, um, I was born in Iran and the capital Tehran. When remembering, I've been here in America since I was uh, uh, early teens, like 13. But I remember they had four seasons. I mean, when it was hot, it was like 110 degrees, 120 degrees all the time, like Palm Springs heat. And when it was cold, it was like Chicago cold. It was cold and windy and snowy. So, but the spring and autumn were just like autumn was New England and spring at springtime in California a lot of times. And that is what we do as human beings. We got to communicate not only with nature, but with one another. So the five languages of love that we know of is the languages that we speak, which comes to uh, the words of affirmations, then quality time, and uh, receiving gifts, acts of service. We talked a little about it last week. But today, I want to talk about uh, going more in depth about receiving, receiving gifts. 
just yesterday, I was invited for a drink, actually, the two of us said, let's get together with a friend of mine. And as we were leaving, she said, I've got this. And it was so beautiful because she said, Lisa, it's okay to receive. And it was such a great reminder that no matter who we are, what we are, we all love to be appreciated. We love to be accepted. We love to receive and be cherished, right? So those of us who constantly give and give, when we come to receive, I hope you also accept the receiving because there is nothing more beautiful than saying thank you. And thank you not only to receive a gift or a gesture, a loving gesture, but it makes the other person who is giving feel good. So it's not only for us, but is making the person who is giving feel good about themselves that they too can and want to give. So that's number one. That's, that's a loving way of gifting and receiving. Um, another one is so many people, many people, not so many, but many have a hard time appreciating a compliment. And I'm notorious about complimenting. If you know me, uh, you know I compliment all the time. And I can be in a coffee shop and see someone just walk by and I compliment if I see something about their hair, their makeup, the way they feel as if they're glowing, or their shoes, or just the button on their coat. If I like it, I mention it. And complimenting a same gender does not mean I envy you or I, I like you in a different way. So many people think, I keep saying so many. That is not so good. <laughs> okay. As a Toastmaster professional, those are added verbiage that is not necessary, right? So here, I am correcting myself. By correcting myself, I am making my language better. Not that I am criticizing myself, but I'm catching myself. And that's what I do with my clients. When I teach them something, I want them to remember that we do not become perfect in one session or two sessions or even uh, once we stop smoking, once we drop our weight, it doesn't finish there. But what we do is lovingly when we eat or when we get to do something that we call it revert back, we catch ourselves just as I did right now. So let me go back to complimenting. Hmm. Complimenting, if I compliment a man and if there is another man sitting next to me, does not mean that I have the hots for him. Maybe he is truly a charming personality, and I will compliment them. Um, if I want a hug and they give hugs and I love hugging them, I will compliment about, God, I love the way you hug me. And it doesn't mean anything sensual or sexual. So the reason I'm bringing that up is become comfortable with who you are. When you compliment, that means you're so comfortable with yourself, you can easily compliment someone else and just vice versa. When you get to practice complimenting, you become more comfortable with yourself. Hmm. What a, what a concept, right? So the more you compliment, someone else, the more you appreciate someone else, the more you validate someone else's gestures, their, their new way of doing something, how they have excelled, how they are better, 
and so deserving of where they are, either deserving or not, that's, that's another adjective that it was not needed there. But when you see someone with something and you say, oh, that is beautiful, that is so good of you, how deserving, congratulations, that in itself will start embedding the same things, the words of wisdom, the words of cherish, the words of compliment and gifting within your own, within your own subconscious. You see, we hear what we say. We are the first who hears what we say. We are the first who feel what we say. So, and I enjoy, truly enjoy hugging, complimenting, and gifting someone, even if it is a note, if it, even if it is a thank you note, a handwritten note. Hello, Raul. Hi, Rich. Hi, Armin. It's so good to have you all. How do you feel when you, someone compliments you? Doesn't it feel good? I know Rich, who is right here live, and would you like to make a comment? I've seen you with your hat a lot, and that is so becoming of you. My friend Rosa, every time I see this woman, she is professional. She's got her jacket. Even when we go to happy hour, she's got this beautiful jacket. It's as if so professional at all times. She is truly in the element of who she is. And that is her comfort zone. And I think it is beautiful. We all have our own ways of doing things. So today, without realizing, see, this is what I'm talking about. When you get to be so comfortable with who you are, you automatically do things without noticing. I come to the office. I'm getting ready. I was brushing my hair, even though it doesn't look brushed, but I was. As I was brushing my hair, I look in the mirror and suddenly realize I put a heart on my necklace as a necklace. How apropos is that? Today, I also have a heart chocolate, a very small little gesture of saying, may sweetness be with you. Hmm? I have a heart that this heart is always on the mantle across where I work and see. It reminds me of opening hearts, expanding our mind, and I help my clients transform. Actually, I have the best job as a coach, as a stress management consultant, as a hypnotherapist. I get paid to transform people's lives, to make changes from the inside out from the subconscious to the conscious, because we do so many things in our life subconsciously. It's that habit that we have created doing things over and over, over and over. Hmm? And when we get to do things that no longer are good for us or beneficial, those habits that no longer enhance our life, it's time for us to make a change. And that is what I help my clients with. So Heal Within is where transformation begins. To make the change, I help my clients evoke it, bring it from the past, embrace what is today, right at that very moment, no matter where they are, no negating, no negativity, no criticizing. By catching ourselves, right? And then evolving. Evolving and transforming to make the change. So even my website, it says, Heal Within, where transformation begins. Begin the change by evoking, embracing, and evolving because you do matter. You matter. And then begin the change by making the appointment and coming in. Hmm. It's so easy.
It's, it's become my signature 3E. Ah, oh, which reminds me, I'm going to talk about 3E, which is my annual event for women. It's a day dedicated to women and empowering women. And I will put a link to make sure that all of you, all the ladies, can definitely, if you have not seen my newsletter that comes to you every month, actually twice a month, uh, with a lot of information and everything. I know I'm doing my own plug in here, but this is what I do. I come here to make a difference for you. And I hope, uh, as one person sent me a um, um, message and said, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just made a change. And her name is Kaplan. And I don't know if she's going to come out of uh, here or not but she said please i'll be more than happy to say something and if she's here in time i'll put her on if not it's okay so to make a change in our life how about we start by being more loving hmm? appreciating and accepting let me give you an example yesterday i had a client who came in talking about how she does not see any value in her life. She is not working because she's been on workers comp. Uh, she is uh, just recovering from two surgeries that she just had. Plus, she's got three kids and each child is busy doing something. One child just left home, so she feels empty nested. She's got pain in her body, and that's what she came in for. She has no children. She has no one to take care of her at this very moment, so she feels lonely. And she does not feel productive because she's not working. So she spends most of her time at home all by herself. And she's in late 50s. Guess what? For someone who does not feel good about herself or himself, it doesn't matter. My first job is to boost and validate and bring more value for them to recognize their value and worth first. No change can happen unless we feel good about ourselves or better about ourselves. Even if it is not very good, it is better. And that comes from self-esteem and self-confidence. By doing this session, the first thing I have to do is remind her what a wonderful job she has done with her children as a provider, as a woman. She is a single mom, and she's been a single mom for the past 14 years. And she has accomplished to go back to school and get a medical degree to be a medical assistant until the time that she fell and she is she has been on workers' comp for the last year and a half now. And everything I did was remind her about when she was taking a test, it was her taking the test. When she was sitting in classroom, it was not her children, but herself at that age, right? So what I did was remind her consciously and when we did the hypnosis into and embedded into her subconscious mind, all the good within her, the worth within her, the value that she has literally put aside as if she has closed the book and she is talking about how her life is not worth anything. No, she is not suicidal, but does not feel worthy. And that was the beginning of shedding a light so that she can remember and evoke not only 
the negative in our life, but evoke the positive, evoke the good things, and remember the happy times, the good times, the wisdom times, all the times that she has brought value to herself, physically, mentally, emotionally, and the things she has done to make someone else's life better. Ah, at the end of an hour and a half, bringing her to full conscious awareness, she opens her eyes with a smile and says, thank you. And the thank you is not for me. The thank you, I know for a fact, is for her to re-remember, to reconnect with who she is. Her authentic self, as what we call it. Not the labels, not the titles that she has been placing upon herself because she feels unproductive. But the things she did up to this moment. And where she wants to go from now on. So every day in every way, I get pleasure, I get joy, I get fulfillment by evoking and helping my clients evoke their own in order for them to embrace all that there is so that we can evolve and reminding her yes she does matter to her children she matters to her family she matters yeah even as a client to me so today I want you to recognize, fully and completely embrace and gift yourself, even if it is a small little bite of a chocolate. Hmm? This little bite, and as you take a bite, thank you, Trader Joe's. As you take a bite, and thank you, as you take that bite and enjoy that little bite, I want you to say thank you for your mouth, your tongue, your palate, for tasting it. And as you swallow, the way you can even swallow. There are so many people. Oh my God, there is so many people again. Ah, okay, this is it. Three, done. Many people are in the hospitals or somewhere that may not be able to have a sweet chocolate. There are those who don't even have the opportunity to have a chocolate because they cannot have sweets. Or those who want to drop the weight and have decided I cannot have any sweets or anything sweet in my body because I choose not to have any sugar in my body and that is a choice. What I do with my clients, I always say, stop denying yourself. If you have not completely said no to sugar in your body, which I find it very difficult because anything we touch has sugar. Um, everything has a natural sweetener. Even fruits have sugar and sweetener in it. So there is no way we can be with no sugar in our life. But those who choose not to have extra sugar, like cookies and uh, or dairy or sugar or candy or chocolate, into their life, into their body, by all means, it is a choice. But those who want to drop weight, and if you have a piece of chocolate, take a bite, say thank you, put it aside. We don't have to hoard everything. So that was a good pointer. Hi, hello, Jasmine. Hello, Mariette. Hi, Talene. Hello, Catherine Norbert. Uh, thank you for all of you who are here watching and being present. Today is a few days before Valentine's, and I was talking about language is love, 
and let's go back to complete today's gift yourself something beautiful affirmations gift yourself a loving hug a touch by someone what is it that they say uh, you eight hugs a day completes us and makes us feel better about ourselves and brings a lot of joy to our body and our being and it doesn't matter what we hug or who we hug it can be your pet it can be your lover it can be your child or it can be family member it doesn't matter even a friend so touch gift yourself appreciate yourself be more loving with kinder words to yourself and compliment others and what was the last one? Oh my god and be of service and you can be of service with anyone in your life hi but chocolate is yummy it is yummy never ever deny yourself chocolate even if it is a small little bite from Trader Joe's or anywhere Godiva or anything with that we have come to the end if you believe today's session Heal Talk Tuesday was beneficial to you, by all means share it. Bottom line is feel good about who you are. Appreciate and accept yourself far more deeply than anyone else. Share this segment. We will be on YouTube. You can always watch every single segment for the last two years and more. I have been I have been coming to you every single Tuesday. He'll talk Tuesdays at noon. Last week I was a little bit late, but today I am back. And every week I will be back at noon. Until we meet next week, I wish you a loving, nurturing, healing, and a happy Valentine's. Give yourself a gift of love. This is Lisa Bubari, your expert hypnotherapist, and helping you evoke, embrace, and evolve because you matter to me. God bless you. May the universal light be with you. And until next week, I bid you goodbye. Share, like, and enjoy the rest of the week. May you be healthy. Let's finish this beautiful segment. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you, you know, know how, how I feel. Breeze drifting on by. Yes, you, you can even enjoy with an incredible music. It's a new dawn. It's, it's a, a new, new day. day. It's a, it's a new, new life. life. Oh, and I am I'm feeling good. In the sea, you know how I feel. River running free.